We train a lot of trotters in my barn, so one of the things that we look for, and, and we, like, we like going back to families that we've had success with in the past, so we look at maternal lines and we look, and we look at those kinds of, kinds of things, and if, uh, if we've had some success with a certain maternal line, um, you know, it's not you know, unheard of for us to kind of go back in that direction and look again, but we're looking, we're looking for, for horses that uh, we're, as we develop them, to be smart, have good heads on their shoulders, not, uh, not too flighty, you know what I mean? You want horses that are well uh, composed and they don't beat themselves out there on the racetrack, but that's all part of the learning process too, is you're, tra is you're training them and teaching them, so you kind of build a little confidence into them and uh, you, know, you hope that it sticks with them and you know, they learn from that. Every horse is different. It's just like coaching uh, kids in uh, peewee hockey or little league. You got to let each kid develop on, on their own. And the horses are, are the same way. You know, and we put a lot of pressure on these horses to be able to compete as two-year-olds. Sometimes they're, physic they're physically very able to do that, but maybe mentally they're not quite there. Or vice versa, they might be mentally very mature, but physically their body's not quite ready. So you have to kind of follow every horse uh, accordingly and uh, try to make the right decisions for each individual horse.